This time on Pedalbox, it's time for another road trip. We go back to Tucson and talk to people with more awesome builds, look around the show and watch the guys' fails and wins at the strip. All coming up on a two-part Pedalbox special at Roadkill Zip Tie Drags. Welcome back for part two of our coverage of Roadkill Zip Tie Drags 2020. If you haven't seen part one already, there's a link up in the corner for you. Coming up shortly, we've got loads of footage from the 3K Hoopty Challenge Eliminator sessions. But first, we can talk to Jim Hughes, who bought the track about five years ago and has been running it all the way through whilst Roadkill's been here. So now it's in its fourth year, we're going to see what he thinks about it. And in the meantime, if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe to the channel. Well, if you've been around the, uh, the track all day, it's just absolutely crazy insane what Freiburger and Finnegan put together this is probably one of the best events we have of the year as far as people coming out having a good time and it's just it's a whole nother way of racing and everybody can afford it everybody can come out and have a have a lot of fun have a good time you got and then from a spectator standpoint you've got anything from we got a nitro funny car out here today we got a jet car we got wheel standers we got people camping everywhere on this on the property. It's it's insane. Every year it gets bigger and bigger, and we really I, I make sure I'm in town for this race every year. Jim's got a huge passion for the track, and he's really trying to keep it alive after the one in Phoenix closed down a few years ago. He's managed to get the track onto the NHRA network as well, and it does in excess of a hundred uh, events every single year, which is really good to see. Test and tune continued well into the evening, ready for the main event with all sorts of pairings coming up onto the strip. Hoopty Challenge is a pretty simple idea, it works on crowd judgement. Everyone who enters is judged by the crowd. If the crowd thinks their car is rubbish enough to be worth under $3,000, they're allowed in. And of course that doesn't stop people rolling through with things that are blatantly worth more than $3,000, but at least they get their moment in the sun, and I would willingly give $3,000 for some of those cars that came through, like there was Mustangs and all sorts of stuff just rolling onto the block. And yeah, I'd pay $3,000 for even a clapped out Mustang. Now, before we get straight into the knockout, we're going to take another quick look around the car show. There's so many good builds there, and there's one in particular, that this extra long wheelbase Jeep on a Ranchero chassis with a bottle of Kraken rum as an overflow tank. So, as far as I can tell, this is like three different Jeeps. Is there like a story here? Is there a plan? Like, what was the, what was the genesis? Well, I, I drew this picture about two years ago. 
And uh, last year, my mom gave me a $200 gift certificate. And uh, I went and spent my $200 on tubs, right? And, and then uh, my buddy, he left this car in my driveway. And I told him, you leave this here for too long, I'm going to cut it up. The tub is actually a 1951 M38 Jeep. I got it from a, a place here in town called Willie's Works. And he hooked me up. I've been buying Jeep parts off him for a while. I'm, I'm an off-roader. Yeah. Right? I do a lot of off-roading. This is my first hot rod. So I, I wanted to go fast, but they won't let me run it. So which is cool. I don't want to go down in fire or anything. Thing. Yeah, that's fair enough. But there's, there's a whole list on the front, isn't there, of all the things oh, that, like, yeah. everything that tech failed you on. Yeah, they want yeah. me to move my gas tank. They, they want me to cover all the firewall holes. Uh, they don't like my overflow tank. <laughs> What's wrong with a rum bottle? That seems fine. Yeah, I, I like rum. I'm a pirate, so you have to drink rum. <laughs> so you got Ranchero bit summer in here. Is the rest of it like you've just got sheet metal or tube and just got put stuff together yourself? Or? Yeah, I, I basically just winged it, man. I had that, I had that dream yeah. and, and that guy left that car there. So it was just was, asking for it, right? I, I was just <laughs> trying to make the Jeep actually fit on the frame. What I actually ended up doing was cutting the whole Jeep in half and, and I stretched it three yeah. inches, man. <laughs> And then I cut four feet off the back of the ranchero. Yeah. So what, what's what's like the number one thing you want to do? Do you want to send it down a drag strip one day, or do you want to like take it off road? I mean, no, maybe not off road. I'm just seeing it hasn't got a whole lot of clearance. But you know, what's no, the what's I, the dream? I just want to drive it on the streets, street yeah? legal. I, just daily it around. Yeah, and, I almost awesome. have it. Like here, uh, my last thing to do was get the windshield. So I, I got the windshield from here in town. Yeah. The only thing about the windshield is it's kind of dark, so I'm not sure if that's going to pass my inspection so I can actually every day drive it. Yeah. But it, it does run pretty good. Like, I, if I had a license plate somewhere, yeah. I probably could drive it. Oh, nice. But so I, I don't want to get it taken away. No, fair enough. You, last yeah. thing you want, isn't it? So what? One day you want to get this at the grocery. You want to put your pint of a gallon of milk in the back uh, and just see what beer. other. Oh, big yeah, guy, even yeah, better, beer. even better. Man, everybody here. Yeah. Uh, they've all been asking me what's the frame. Yeah. And I'm like, well, guess, see what happens. And nobody, nobody uh, we, is guessing. Yeah, we especially never would. Yeah. But. No, this is brilliant, man. Yeah, this thing is so much different than yeah. anything here. Like, hey, it's kind of cool, you know? Well, Doc, it's 8 p.m. here in the tower at Tucson Dragway. We're about halfway through, or maybe more, through the 3K Hoopty Challenge, which is where all the $3,000 or less really crappy cars come out and face off against each other. There's been loads of racing happening. There's still plenty more to happen yet. Uh, and we're having a great time. So we're going to spin the camera around, let you see some of the racing that's happening right now, and hope you enjoy it as much as we have.
So the event was awesome, but there was one other thing I was really excited to find from John at T-Bird Hustle, which is this complete, fully boned headliner for our Thunderbird. Now, I've got all the ribs on mine to make one of these up, or get it made up, because there's no way I'm capable of doing this. But to find one that is fully intact, ready to go in, is just a massive bonus. Now, if you want to join us in wearing some cool pedal box merch, like these hoodies and hats, check out the store at pedalbox.show forward slash shop. Don't forget to check out our Patreon if you'd like to support us and our builds. Thanks for watching, folks.